Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kaz. Welcome back to the second channel. Today we have a different type of video and I hope you guys enjoy this. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing my first ever trick shot tutorial video. If you guys want to see more of these or if you want to see any other like special requests, then let me know. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing two of the most common trick shots that you'll see me do. First of which is going to be the pickaxe stutter and then the second one is going to be the pickaxe stall aka the buried axe aka. Let me just show you examples of both real quick, okay? So like I said, we're here on my trick shot course and the first one I'm going to be showing you is the pickaxe stutter and I have my keyboard on the screen as you can see below so i'm going to be showing you every single button i press if you guys are confused as to what button does what you guys can look at my binds as well obviously for like my weapon slots and stuff like that but uh this one's going to be pretty simple okay all you got to do for a pickaxe stutter which will end up looking like that see how you swing your pickaxe multiple multiple times like super super fast it's like a glitch obviously if you try to farm materials in a public match by doing it it won't work it's all visual it's a completely visual glitch it doesn't have any effect on the actual game it's more of just like like i said a glitch and yeah sometimes i'll accidentally mess up and throw it but essentially all you have to do for the first trick shot of this video all you got to do to do a pickaxe stutter is pretty much pretend to throw your item but you got to do it fast oh, okay i think you can do it like this if you hold it out and then pull your pickaxe out but i think it's a little bit harder yeah that you can still do it but the way i like to do it is i barely tap down on the throw animation so you literally see it for a split second and then you pull your pickaxe out right away so what you got to do i'll slow it down for a sec okay so as this is slowing down as you can see you're just gonna tap your shoot button which is gonna be your trigger or your mouse in my example and then what you're going to do is pull out your pickaxe immediately after you tap it and then hold down the shoot button when your pickaxe is out or you can tap the shoot button when your pickaxe is out but yeah just hold or tap when you have your pickaxe out after you tap when you have your throwable out oh yeah and i forgot to mention when i said throwable right there i literally mean you can do this with like every single throwable item in the game you can do it with a mythic goldfish you can do it with grenades you can do it with literally anything except for the crash pads you can't do it with crash pads for some reason but pretty much every other throwable item you can do it with so yeah so there's the first one of the video the pickaxe stutter it looks really really sick in trick shots and for those of you guys who have never seen it in a trick shot in your lives most of you probably have if you ever watched me or anybody else trick shot but if you haven't here's a little example of it what you got to do is pretty much exactly what i just explained but in midair so you would just do your normal trick shot like this shoot your weapons or whatever and then you would pull it out like that and oh my god that almost hit but yeah quick example obviously i don't want to show you guys like too too much you guys kind of get the point this is more of a tutorial obviously but yeah you just go like this and then in the middle of your trick shot you'll pretend to throw it and you'll just hit something like that so there's the first one now okay we're gonna go on to the second one which is gonna be the pickaxe stutter slash buried axe and the way to do the pickaxe stall that i'm gonna show you guys today is actually not able to be done in game anymore unfortunately because obviously there is no more rift to go in the game and you need a rift to go to do it but here we go here's an example of the pickaxe stall pretty much you go ahead and do that and your pickaxe like stays in place it looks so sick it's one of my favorite trick shots to do in creative mode obviously a lot of my content's in creative mode and obviously i do a lot of creative trick shots so yeah i do a lot of pickaxe stalls like this it's pretty easy for me to do at this point i can pretty much hit it every time and yeah honestly in my opinion it's one of my favorite trick shots to go for because it just looks so nice when you do it in combination with like some other combos like this i don't know it just looks super super good but yeah let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this actually wait before we do it quick side note you can do it in game still you have to have a flopper and not full hp so you can pop a flopper you pretty much replace everything that i'm explaining with a rift go you just pretend like you have a flopper in your hand instead and then you just do pretty much the same exact thing but yeah i've never really done it so i I can't really teach you guys how to do that way but yeah let's go ahead and show you guys how to do the rift to go pickaxe stall and i definitely think the pickaxe stutter where you pretend to throw something and then study your pickaxe is a little bit easier than this but i'm gonna try my best to explain it and i'll go ahead and slow it down as well so you guys can see exactly what buttons i'm pressing before the shot pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out your rift to go and press it but you're gonna make sure it doesn't pop completely but while the animation's going like this you want to pull out straight to your grappler so like you just want to pull out straight like that and essentially if you're on controller or anything like that and use the bumpers to swap you want to make sure you have them next to each other obviously so you can do that but pretty much you're gonna go like this you're gonna press your rift to go down and then you're gonna pull out straight to your grappler and then you're gonna spam shoot your grappler as you can see i'm just gonna spam press my mouse one button like this and then after that once your grappler shoots you're gonna pull out your pickaxe so you're gonna go rift and then you're gonna go grapple and then right after your grapple shoots and hits you're gonna pull out your pickaxe and then you're gonna spam your mouse button or you can just click it but i spam it because it's a little bit easier you're gonna rift grapple and then pull out your pickaxe and swing it like that and in combination instead of looking like you're just swinging your pickaxe it'll look a little something like this and uh yeah it's super super nice let's go ahead and slow it down with my button combination on the screen and in case you guys are curious x is my actual rift and then three is going to be my grapple so when i slow it down you can look at my button combination to know okay and i actually slowed this one down a lot so you guys can see exactly what i do here so essentially you're going to pull out your rift to go and you're going to pop it but you're not going to completely pop it in the middle of the animation you're going to pull out your grapple and shoot it 
and then pull out your pickaxe and shoot that or hold the the shoot button the trigger whatever it is for you let's go ahead and play it one more time you can look at my buttons just know like i said previously my rift to go is going to be x my grappler is on my third slot and e is going to be my pickaxe so in case you guys want to see it there you guys go So there you go obviously all the time you guys will see me rip cancel and do these little uh pickaxe stalls in my shots but in case you guys want a little a little example shot then bam there you go it's nothing too crazy obviously it's one of my favorite trick shots and that's why i do it so much but yeah it's a super fun trick shot to do if you've never done it then i encourage you to go out and try it the point of these videos is going to be so obviously you guys can learn how to do these crazy trick shots that me and a lot of other people you see online do and um yeah i hope this helped i mean i don't really know because i've never done a tutorial like this but if it did help be sure to smash the like obviously this is a little bit of a short video but i mean i really don't have to extend it to 10 minutes i have no reason to do that i hope you guys enjoyed though i mean i guess i could put ads on this but no it's fine i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to slap a like let me know any other trick shot tutorials you want to see it can be anything it doesn't have to be even like a glitch like this it can just be like teach me how to spin or teach me how to line up my shots or something like that like literally anything i'm down to do on the second channel but yeah if you enjoyed slap a like subscribe to this channel i don't have a lot of subs and i would love it if you guys did sub and join the gang but uh yeah it's been your boy kaz and i'll catch y'all later peace